A while ago, I released the Last Resort Gadget mod, which turns the Insanity Strike Gadget, arguably the most useless gadget in the game, into a safety net that could save your life if the conditions were right. However, this wasn't the original vision for the mod. Before coming up with the final product, I went through a few ideas. The first was swapping the voltage attack and lightning spin gadgets attack types with fire. It didn't work out because a lot of limitations relating to other attack methods, and what's the point? It's still just an insta-kill attack. The next experimental idea I came up with was one I showed on both YouTube and Twitter for a short while, which gave you one insta-kill attack and teleported you upwards, nothing more. Again, it was too simple, and it wouldn't have worked indoors and it would have failed some jobs. Before I settled on what I would do before the mod's release, I experimented with one more idea. Not an idea for safety at all, but one to turn Sly into a god, the ability to shoot all guards into the air so they die of fall damage. I couldn't figure out how to do this, as the obvious way I did this with the episode 7 bear wasn't working for some reason. After I released the mod, I wanted to make another one, as with my poor health it's hard to find enjoyment in activities anymore, but this gave me a sense of satisfaction I wanted to capture again. Not wanting to give up on the god idea, I asked around why I couldn't make guards take flight like I could with the episode 7 bear. Less than 10 minutes of explanation later, I learned the extra steps required to modify properties of things that can spawn in up to 8 slots, like guards. I began brainstorming what kind of mod I wanted to make with this. Something like the speedrun clip here came to mind, but I eventually thought of something better. Introducing, the Reality Bender mod, the new name for the Last Resort mod, since it now has a new feature. Just like how the Insanity Strike gadget transforms into a safety net when under half health, it now has a special ability that activates when over half health. If you're being chased, activating Insanity Strike will- Hold on, why did nothing happen? The original feature still works, what gives? Well, for the first time ever, this gadget is upgradable through ThiefNet. It's too early in the game to have an extra feature, since that would be way too overpowered, considering what it does. When you get to episode 5, a new gadget is available, the Reality Bender Upgrade Mark II, available for 10,000 coins. Very pricey, but very worth it. In fact, I'd recommend grinding for coins before doing any more jobs, it's that good. After buying the upgrade, the new feature will be unlocked. When being chased at over half health, activating the upgraded gadget will drain all gadget power and give you one insta-kill attack like before, but will also launch all guards up into the air, causing them to fall to their inevitable demise. But Sly Cooper Reload Coded. I hear you scream at your monitors once again. You miss the fact that this won't be nearly as effective indoors, since some of them have low ceilings, and there's no room for fall damage. This is true, so the mod switches to a secondary mode when indoors which teleports guards out of the map where they can fall to their deaths. Not just the ones pursuing you, but all of them, so you'll get mostly free reign over the area until you return later. Um, Sly Cooper Reload Coded? Guards can carry keys which are vital to jobs. That's true as well, and I've accounted for that. When on jobs, both inside and outside, the mod switches to a tertiary mode which, instead of affecting the guards, gives you shadow power level 2 until you return to the safe house or enter a new area. Yes, really. An added bonus is that, since this is a mod for the PAL release, all custom text has been translated into all available languages, just like every other string in the game. En prime, puisqu'il s'agit de la version PAL, tout le texte personnalisé a été traduit dans toutes les langues disponibles, comme tout le texte du jeu. Comme bonus aggiuntivo, poiché questa è la version PAL, tutto il testo personalizzato è stato tradotto in tutte le lingue disponibili, proprio come tutto il testo nel gioco. Da dies die PAL version ist, wurde als zusätzlicher Bonus der gesamte Benutzer definierte Text in alle verfügbaren Sprachen übersetzt, genau wie der gesamte Text im Spiel. Como beneficio adicional, dado que esta es la versión PAL, todo el texto personalizado se ha traducido a todos los idiomas disponibles, al igual que todo el texto del juego. 
aangezien dit de pro-release is, is als extra bonus alle aangepaste tekst vertaald in alle beschikbare talen, net als alle tekst in het spel. Como een bonus adicional, como esta é a versão PAU, todo o texto personalizado foi traduzido para todos os idiomas disponíveis, assim como todo o texto do jogo. Som een extra bonus, da dette er PAL-udgivelsen, er al bruger defineret tekst blevet oversat til alle tilgængelige sprog, ligesom al tekst i spillet. Som en extra bonus, siden dette er PAL-udgivelsen, har al egen defineret tekst blitt oversat til alle tilgængelige språk, akkurat som al tekst i spillet. Som en extra bonus, eftersom dette er PAL-udgåvan, har al anpassad tekst oversatt til alle tilgængelige språk. Precis som all text i spelet. This mod currently doesn't work on bears, not because I can't, but because 90% of the time, they're objectives. Also, there's unfortunately a problem with the mod that causes most wolf guards in episodes 4 and 5 to be completely unaffected due to something undocumented about them. Support for these guards will be added whenever it becomes possible to modify them. This mod takes advantage of two very recently created innovations in modding Sly Cooper games. The first is Bitfield Checks. The smallest amount of memory that PCSX2's cheat system can read from is one byte, however, for example, the gadgets are stored very weirdly in a bit field. Even though we kind of knew how it worked, we couldn't check if I had one specific gadget, meaning that the upgrade mechanic was very close to being impossible. However, using an unused portion of memory called a code cave, some advanced operations that go way over my head can be done instantly, which accomplishes a bitfield check, and allows this mod to work. A lot of other mods will likely become possible with this. The second advancement is full text editing. Previously, due to the game's terribly inefficient way it loads text into memory, we would have to go into each map in the game and replace the string manually, and even then we were limited to the length of the original string. For example, we couldn't replace the term, press circle, with the term, according to all known laws of aviation, since it's longer than the original. After finishing one of the more difficult parts of a new tool, we can now intercept the function that looks for text and point it to our own custom strings which can be any length. Additionally, we no longer have to make this modification for each map, rather we replace it once and it's replaced everywhere in the game. The custom descriptions for both the Reality Bender gadget and its upgrade were longer than the originals, yet they work perfectly thanks to this new method. This will also allow other mods to work better, or at all, since this was the only reason that several mods couldn't be finished. As always, the download link is in the description, and the old release video's description now redirects to this video. Matthew, say nothing this time. Agreed. Nothing from me. Did I just hear?